Well, I'm Daryl Anger, and I'm your freestyle fiddle player, and I teach a lot at the Artist Works Online School of Fiddling. And uh, I have tons of lessons on just about every subject of fiddling. Uh, one of the things that I think about a lot is backing up singers and soloists when you're playing in a band, jamming or playing in your own band. And I have a whole series on backup with a wonderful singer on the site. But I just wanted to leave you uh, for today with this one tip that can help your backup immensely. Now, when obviously we're thinking that uh, you know, we want to stay in the spirit of the song. Whatever the song is, if the song's a fast song, then we could play a lot of notes, right? And uh, if it's a very slow song, we don't want to be doing We want to play something that's in the spirit of the song. If it's a minor key. We, but the, the, one of the best tips that I know for backup is to make sure you know the melody of the song so that you can not play it behind the singer or the soloist, right? So if the melody is... Right, something like that, then we want to know that. We want to be able to play the melody so that we can generate something that is not the melody. If you're playing the same note as the singer, it's going to drive them crazy. It feels like... Don't want that. Not good. You won't get rehired. So, if we have a melody, we want to make a harmony, right? So, we can make, uh, let's put a harmony below the melody. And we happen to be in the key of G here, so. There's a nice harmony that goes with the melody but doesn't get in the way of the notes. Right, and one other thing I can do is to simplify that harmony a little bit so that it doesn't attract attention to itself because we're, it's backup, right? So, so I've just smoothed it out and added a couple of other notes to make it smoother. And that is a great rule of thumb for backing up. Stay away from the melody. You gotta know what it is to stay away from it. Make your harmony, smooth it out, and then put that behind the singer.